today, like in an MMA, MMA, two guys in a ring and each guy knows what the other guy's there to do. You know, <laughs> He's there to beat me. I'm here to beat him. And uh, so we use our strategy and our skill and our athleticism and our coaching. And, uh, but you know, this ninja martial art was a completely different world. It was a team mm -hmm. of people uh, gathering intelligence, some sabotage maybe, uh, starting rumors to upset the other side. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and in, in fact, sometimes a ninja leader would send out three different teams, not tell them, or tell them, hey, you might run into somebody claiming they're working for me, but uh, mm -hmm. you're the one. So mm -hmm. they get three sets of intelligence back. If one is radically different than the other two, uh, right. I flushed out uh, a double agent. Uh, God, yeah. how to think about all of that. Uh, no, no, it's a, a very broad-based military kind of yeah. uh, strategy. And I think that looking through it with that lens, you know, makes it more logistical almost like where it kind of it kind of makes sense because if you're looking at running a military of what you have to do and because if you look at especially with the television media the ninjas still exist but now they're just james bond movies you know where i guess <laughs> the spy and he sneaks in and they kind of know who he is and then a few fancy moves but it you know, yeah. but when you look at it from that military yeah. operation um you know that that i think that grounds it into something a little bit more real for people to understand where you're coming from.